Hi, and welcome to today's web launch special featuring a very exciting die set. It is one you have been asking for time and time again, and we are so, so happy to be able to bring you words for a loved one, okay? This is a whole set of sentiment dies geared around beautiful toppers you can pop on the fronts of your cards, onto things like home decor. We're gonna start with probably the most requested sentiment we've had, robins appear when loved ones are near. Just take a look at the gorgeous font we've included within this. Really pretty. The words are also decorated with, of course, as you guessed, robins as well. Very, very beautiful. Each one of the sentiment dies within the Words for a Loved One collection comes with its own backing as well. So you've got this lovely surround to really heighten and highlight your sentiment designs. This is going to work so perfectly with all of those previous two Red Robins collections and all of the future collections to come as well. The next die included within this collection. Just take a look at this. Absolutely stunning. This one here is two little robins and it reads, two little robins sitting in a tree, singing their hearts out for you and me. A lovely poetic sing song kind of verse surrounded by the branch and you've got those two little robins as mentioned in the rhyme there, singing to one another as well. Really lovely as a sentiment to the top of your cards, as a topper, perhaps as an insert as well. We'll be taking a look at a few different ways of using this one. We will be demoing with this one as well. But just think, the ways you could be cutting this out. We provided you the reflections in this beautiful artwork, this lovely color of the branches and of course the beautiful robins as well. The text itself in a nice neutral color so it will work with any card design. But also do think about introducing your own colors to these. Perhaps you want to introduce a little bit of gold to the words here. The choice is yours. The final die set within Words for a Loved One. Here we have a picture speaks a thousand words. Surrounded again by beautiful, beautiful greenery. You've got leaves in here, you've got little dandelions, little pink flowers as well. And again, that same wonderful font, which is really gonna work with your collections you've already got. The way the different sentiments are shaped, you've got larger, you've got circular, you've got rectangular. These are gonna fit on different shaped cards. They're gonna fit in different home decor projects as well. You are gonna be able to create gorgeous cards with this as the feature using your die cuts, using your dies from previous collections as well. Now, if we just take a look at the dies, you'll see really lovely large size to these. And then we were mentioning about, you've got your square, you've got your rectangle, and you've got your circle shape there perfect for your different card shapes. And of course, having that outer matte layer means you can do things like um, have these as a card blank in their own right. Perhaps you want to then cut these into an aperture as well. Having that frame around the sentiment, around the text really does highlight it beautifully. Now, should we take a look at a few samples created with this beautiful collection? Because really that's what brings the designs to life. I'm gonna pop my boards just to one side. Take a look at this stepper card. This has been created by Vicky. Thank you very much, Vicky. And she's used that beautiful two little robins die set centrally. And again, think to the different seasons as well. Because these are so neutral, they're going to work throughout the year for you. Vicky has teamed this with a lovely sort of autumnal feel, included a few other of the robins as well. Just very sweet. But do consider replicating what Vicky has done. She's put a little gold behind. So she's cut the die once from a gold cardstock, then cut it again using that ref reflection artwork and done a little drop shadow with that gold. And it really makes the sentiment pop there as well. Let's take a look at another one. This is by Steve. Thank you very much, Steve. And look how all of the focus on this card is that beautiful sentiment when robins appear. You've got your florals around and Steve has chosen to use those beautiful footprint nested dies around just to really hone in on the theme of the robins there. Very, very sweet. Now we did mention home decor too. Perhaps you want to include something 
a little bit like this. This is also by Steve. Thank you, Steve. And here he's used the three-dimensional frames to create a lovely art piece for your home. Again, including dies from previous collections down here. This one is A Picture Speaks A Thousand Words. Again, decorated with the beautiful florals around it too. Just something so pretty for this time of year. Cut a couple of times and lay it up to give it even more prominence to the inside of your card. Now, if we're looking at a price breakdown for these, if you were to buy each one of these three dies individually, your price would be $44.97. But being a special bundle price today, we are doing that at $34.99. Now, if you are familiar with Two Red Robins, you'll already know the absolute best way to buy is being a member of Club Highlight. For all you members, you will be saving even more. Your price is £31.49. That is a saving of £13 and 48 pence. If you're not a member of Club Highlight, it is free to join. Just hop on over to the website, highlightcrafts.com, sign up and you will be receiving that same amazing discount on all of our bundles as well. Now, should we take a little look at a demonstration of how we're gonna use this? I'm gonna create like an aperture card for this one, sort of an over the edge design. And this really could translate for any one of the sentiments that we could use throughout this collection. But I'm gonna be using the two little robins one here as well, because I think it's a really, really sweet little sentiment like so. Here what we have, I'm gonna just take away my layers just so it doesn't get confusing, is essentially a card blank which I have snipped into, okay? So we're taking, I think it's a seven by seven card blank, and then we're cutting down the top half of the card to two and a half inches. So we're cutting that down from the fold line two and a half inches. That's gonna be the front of our card, and this is gonna be the top, it's gonna be a tenth fold. To the inside, I am just gonna de decorate that first off. And we're gonna include some of our Craft Master cardstock. So this is just chosen to go along with sort of the theme of the wood that you can see within the little um, die cut reflection there. Something just to highlight that and something to represent more of a wooden design. So nice brown Craft Master cardstock here, nice chocolatey color. Just sticking that to the inside of my card using finger lift tape. And all I've done here is cut this down about, about a quarter of an inch smaller than the base of the card, okay? Onto this, we're gonna add some pattern paper. Now this is one from one of the collections. Just really simple design, um, again, quite neutral in the color palette here. But this same design would work with any one of your pattern papers, any of your scenes, anything like that. So you can change it up depending on how you want it to look. Again, just using finger lift tape, I'm gonna position that in place making sure it is even all the way around. And then we'll remove one side of the tape before adding the rest. So it just gives me a little bit more control over where I'm sticking and placing it. Okay, so this is the inside of my card. Just for ease, I'm gonna fold down the top and show you where we're going with this. So we're gonna take another strip of the same card as what we used for the base, so 300 GSM white cardstock. And this strip is cut to two and um, two and a quarter inches, just over two, and, sorry, two and a half inches as well, just the same as the top. And that's going to become the base of the card. So essentially what we're going to have is this little cutaway to the center, okay? But to stabilize our card, what we want to do is grab some of our construction acetate, and that's going to sit on the inside of our card like so, okay? So we're just lining that up just as we would do as if it was um, a card blank in its own right. So this is part of the structure of the card, lining it up with the bottom of the base. And you see here, I'm using red liner tape to attach that top of the card to the construction acetate, just burnishing that down into place and then using my pokey tool to remove the carrier sheet for the red line tape there as well. If it wants to come away, sometimes it can be a little bit stubborn. There we go. Making sure that's all aligned still on the base and then folding that down and smoothing that into place. Okay, so now you can see how we're building this card. This acetate is working as our card front. I'm gonna attach that bottom as well. Same thing again, just burnish 
the red liner tape in to place and then lift just a little tab like so. So we can just align it with the bottom of the card, making sure everything is nice and neat. I'm going to keep my card aligned with one of the guide rules on my mat. And there. Now we have got the top and the bottom attached. So you've got basically the front of your card with a little colorway to the center. Same thing again, just removing that carrier sheet of the red liner tape, just so we've got nice strong adhesion for the acetate there, okay? To hide our workings on the inside of the card, just to neaten everything up, we have cut these strips again, again with the acetate, and this is purely to hide where we've got the um, sticky showing on the acetate because it's clear you want to just make sure you're covering that up. So you just lean over, align that nicely, and it basically hides your workings from the inside of the card, like so. Essentially what I wanted to do with this is create a really nice backdrop so all of the focus was on our sentiment. Our sentiment's gonna be the topper and all the focus is going to be on that. So that's hidden that. And let's just take another one. So again, cutting two and a half inch strip again, just to hide the workings of the top there. It just neatens everything up and gives you a really nice professional finish to your card designs. Just keep vanishing. Sometimes red liner tape doesn't want to play ball in the studios, but we can encourage it down. <laughs> okay, let's cover it from the other side. There we go. I find when we're aligning things, always use that kind of tab method where you've got control over how you're placing, lining everything up like so, holding that in place, and then removing that tab. And then we can just peel back that edge to remove the second part of the tape there as well. Okay, so now for the front, we want to continue that same pattern we've got on the inside. So all we've done is taken that same image again. We have then cut the same color border as the inside, and then we're sticking our mats and layers just as we would do for the inside. This time around, they're just cut down smaller, so they fit the little strips here. But rather than lining it so it's central with white all the way around, you want to align it so you've got the top with no white, so it looks like a continuous pattern, and then the sides and the bottom in white. Just continuating, continuing that look of the cutaway then as well. Same thing with the top, aligning it like so, just with the edge of that white strip. So you've got no white showing on one side and making sure your mats and layers just basically run into one another to give that illusion of continuation. That's stuck again with finger lift tape. And then you see how when we bring our image on, the whole pattern kind of disappears. You don't see that cutaway until the card itself is open. So it's a little fun way of creating a nice card blank where you want all the focus to be on a lovely topper like we've got here. Just sticking that down again, finger lift tape. Sticking that one side and then going in and removing the tape to stick all the way, smoothing it all down as we go, and our final piece into place. It's almost like a little jigsaw puzzle how <laughs> it comes together. And there, just using those matte layers as a guide and making sure we're aligning that along the bottom for that look of the continuation, like so. So when you open the card, you've got this cutaway to the center as well. Onto this, we then want to create our topper. So we've taken the outer die for the two little robins, and we've cut that from, again, our craft master, but we're gonna lift that from our background a little bit. So I'm gonna use some foam tape here, snip down with scissors, but we've got to be careful just to position it where the die cut itself is touching the panel the, rather than the clear acetate. So we can stick that on the little body of the robin there, making sure nothing overhangs the edge. 
and a little bit there and again just offering it up just to see whether we can put yeah we can put a little strip along the bottom here so that's going to lift this section from the card base gives it a little bit of a drop shadow but gives it more of a prominence on the front of your card as well before we stick that we're going to go in with our center and look how that brings that whole card to life instantly everything is drawn to the center and this beautiful sentiment to stick that i'm going to use a little bit of book, find, book binding glue just going to squeeze them out on my mat and rather than trying to apply the glue directly using the nozzle i am going to come in and use the craft master glue applicators just because we are working with something quite fine here it's an easy way to get in to all those little areas so just wiping the glue off and then dabbing that into areas the little applicator means we can get into really delicate areas just like this font without the glue squidging over the edge of anything as well going around the edge of the frame as well just into all those little branches and things adding the glue using the applicator any little bits that need to come out we can poke those out too and then along the font, just like so. Just making sure we've got a nice even amount of glue over sort of anchor areas where we want to make sure the text is going to be nice and stuck. As I say, I haven't stuck this just yet because I find it easier to um, line up without it all on the front of the card. But just using that beautiful edge as a guide, you've got a little bit of Definition all the way around the die. Take your time just lining it up and then sticking your font into place with that glue all the way around, like so. And once you're happy, you can come in, remove the carrier sheet from the foam tape from the bottom and also the top. Notice I haven't put any tape to the middle. That's because we don't want any showing on the aperture there. Come on, little tape. There we go. And then aligning that center again, using your mat as a guide. Anywhere where it is lifting slightly, we can go in. Just a little bit more glue just using that glue applicator to stick that into place and to finish we're going to get a second die cut and we're going to give those robins a little bit more prominence as well so here we're going to take our scissors we're going to snip away just the robins from the rest of the frame gently just following the cut line details that are laid down by the die cut itself I'm going to leave the robin's feet attached to the top of the T just so it's a little bit more easier to stick the robins when it comes to it. And then this little chappy, we're just going to go round and release him from his branch too. Again, not a step you have to do, it's just if you want to give those robins a little bit more prominence. The sentiment can go in my stash for another day. And we can round off the robin using our pokey tool, the back of our pokey tool. And we can pop a little bit of three dimensional glue gel just on the back to keep its height and shape and align that over the robin there. Just a little bit of height, just gives you a little point of difference for this card as well. Perhaps you want to introduce flowers, perhaps you want to surround this with like a wreath design of foliage, for example. Look to your other dyes within your collection because these, these sentiments can work so, so well with all of those and there we have that little robin in place as well to finish a very simple very nice neutral card but how about something like that for this beautiful collection here i love that sentiment i think it really does stand out beautifully in the card itself so let's have another look at the breakdown of these dies within the Words for a Loved One collection. If you were to buy each one of these dies separately, 
you would be looking at total price of $44.97. But today's bundle price, if you put all three together, you're looking at $34.99. Remember, as we have said at the beginning of the show, if you are a Club Highlight member, you do get that extra saving. Today's price, $31.49, is saving you £13.48. And there are payment options on the website at checkout as well. Shall we have another look at the boards? Just go through what we get within this collection. Let me just grab them. Okay, so here we go. This is lovely. And you have asked for this so, so many times. Robins appear when loved ones are near. There's gonna be so many dies within your collection that can work so beautifully with this. I love the fact that you've got the surround, you've got the outer matte layer for the die as well. The font is just gorgeous. Next up, the one you've just seen used in demonstration we have got two little robins. Here they are sitting on their little branch, having a little sing song as well. Love the fact you've got different shapes within these sentiments. So lovely for a topper, lovely for an aperture as well. Two little robins sitting in a tree, singing their hearts out for you and me. Just glorious. Our final die set within the words for a loved one is this one, a thousand words. It says, a picture speaks a thousand words. Again, surrounded by your beautiful foliage, add to this. Look to your collections and see what other dyes are gonna work so well. Perhaps it's some florals, perhaps it's some more foliage, perhaps it's some more robins as well. Really, really gorgeous. If we look at the dies themselves, as we've mentioned, you've got those surrounds, you've got those outer layers for these designs. Each one comes with its downloadable reflection, its colored artwork available from highlightcrafts.com as well. But just think to the designs you could be making with these. These are gonna be perfect as toppers. These are gonna be perfect as apertures. These are gonna be really beautiful as that finishing insert to your card designs as well. And let's take a look at some more designs created with this collection. So here we have this little box. I love this. This is a really different way of using the die set just as a full topper to your box design. This one's created by Steve as well. Thank you, Steve. Again, lovely colors in the background from the Craft Master cardstock. But again, front and center is that gorgeous sentiment as well. We've also got things with a little bit more scenery around them too. This card, we mentioned how you can create it as an insert is actually an aperture, again, created using your oval fundamentals. Remember, you can introduce some of your previous die sets here to really hone in that design around the sentiment, a few little florals as well, just glorious. And how about we look to something like this one here, where you could actually cut out your die from different papers. Vicky here has decided to use like a pearlescent cardstock and then just use the robins as they appear on the die cut itself. Really beautiful designs there from words with a loved one, words from a loved one as well. Don't forget, we do love you sharing your creation. So if you get this home, you wanna make something, you wanna share it with us, pop onto our Facebook group. It's Two Red Robins. We love to see your inspiration. Um, we share inspiration in there as well. It's a really, really friendly little place. Don't forget to share there. And of course, if you are looking into YouTube, if you are watching this on YouTube, don't forget, if you want to be notified of um, new content, all you need to do is hit the subscribe button and also that little bell notify, and it will send you a little notification when we upload more content as well. So that is everything today from Words for a Loved One. Stay safe and I will see you very, very soon. Bye. If you want to see more from Highlight Crafts, make sure you subscribe by clicking the button below. Then click the bell icon to receive notifications for all our new content.